All right, we've talked about simplifying rational expressions. We've talked about multiplying rational expressions. And now we're talking about division. Now, division, um, whenever you divide a fraction or rational expression by another fraction or rational expression, what we do is we keep the first rational expression uh, the same for the most part, change division to multiplication, flip the second fraction. That is, multiply basically, multiply by the reciprocal of the second expression. Sometimes I tell my students to K, C, F. Not K, F, C, everybody. K, C, F. Keep the first fraction the same, change uh, division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction, K, C, F. That's how you divide a fraction by another. So really, this problem turns out to be um, a cubed minus 125 divided by 9a minus 9. Now we're going to change this to multiplication and then flip the second fraction. So 3a squared minus 3 over a squared plus 5a plus 25. That's kcf. Now you can see, oh, Division just turns into multiplication. And I already know how to multiply, right? We talked about it in the previous example. So now we'll, um, we will factor every polynomial, cross cancel, and then we're done. All right, this is a great opportunity for you to pause the video, try to factor each one of these polynomials on your own. All right, the first um, numerator is a difference of two perfect cubes. So it factors as such, as like, like this. Okay, kind of run out of room there. Let me fix this for us here. Extend this fraction bar. The denominator, the GCF is nine, there. Um, the numerator, you can factor out a three. After you factor out a 3, you'll notice that you have a difference of two squares, which factors as such. The denominator is prime. It does not factor. I know that because there are no factors of 25 that add to 5. Now look for common factors. Let's see. a minus 1 divides out with a minus 1. a squared plus 5a plus 25, that trinomial factor, divides out with that denominator. 3 divides into 9 three times, and I think we're done cross-canceling. Let's be very carefully, uh, careful to collect whatever we have left. So a minus 5 in the numerator times a plus 1 all over 3. That's your final answer.